the NIV version, which says, Now, to him who is able to carry out his purpose and do super abundantly more than all we dare to ask or think, infinitely beyond our greatest prayers, hopes, or dreams, according to his power that is working within us. Amen. 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 Now, three words resonate with me in that Bible verse. And the first one is, do super abundantly, more than we can imagine. The abundantly strikes chord with me, meaning that it's abundant, it's like a river, it's flowing, it's a lot of it. Amen. Amen. Meaning that what God wants to do with us and can do with us has no limits. And then it says, more than all that we dare ask or think. So the question is, are we asking him as Christians concerning those dreams? And then, are you even thinking about it? Do you even have a dream coming to your mind? Amen. Amen. It says, we dare ask or think. Meaning that, are you thinking about it? What is that dream you're thinking about? And then, do you dare to ask him? So, those dreams you have in your mind, in your heart, those ideas, are you talking to God about it? And then it says, infinitely beyond. I looked at the word infinitely, it says endlessly. Continuing forever without end. There are infinitely many possibilities. Ceaselessly, continuously, unending, boundless, immeasurable, interminably. Let me, no, let me stop before I begin to bite my tongue. Amen. Amen. Okay. It has no end. You can dream. The dream has no limits with God. Only us, we are the only one that can limit ourselves. Mm -hmm. Now, to dream is to fail. If you have a dream, then be prepared to fail. What do I mean? Meaning that it may not be perfect at first. Meaning that you can make mistakes. Meaning that you can miss it. But the only thing you're not going to do is that you're not going to give up. Amen. Amen. I don't have time. Jesus is Lord. To dream is to fail, which also means risk taking. You want to start a business. You've dreamed about it. Oh, if I do this business, I'm going to make it. Yes. But then you're also taking a risk. So if you want to dream, know you're going to a risk. If you want to go into the risk, know that you might fail. Amen. Amen. There is no dream without setting a goal. You cannot have a dream and you have no plan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You must have a plan for your dream. Strategizing. Okay, I, I I have I want to I I'm having some issues about doing some exercise, and I've been dreaming about it. Stop laughing. I've been dreaming about it for so long, and my son is on my case on it. And then when I was preparing this message, I said, okay, I need to be an example for myself. I want to just preach the word and practice what I'm preaching. So I made a first call. I need a coach. I need motivation. I know what to do, but I need motivation. So I need one to one. I don't mind paying for it. That is setting a goal. When do I start? What time am I going to work on it? So if we have a dream, get a pen and a paper, set a goal, set a target, set a time for yourself, and pray about it. Amen. Achieving your dream is not too quick. Ecclesiastes 3 says, There is nowhere and says about there's time to die, a time to live, a time to be born, a time for everything. And I went through Ecclesiastes 3. There is no way it says there's a time for you to give up. There is a time for everything. But there is no time written in the Bible for you to give up. Meaning that there is no excuse. I have excuses. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, I'll do it. Yeah, I'm just eating. Excuses. Amen. Amen. To get something you never had before, you need to do something you haven't done before. You want something extraordinary in your life, then you need to do something extraordinary. No. I don't want to be just a child. I want to be a special child. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be just one of them prophets. I want to be a prophet with a kind. Amen. Amen. I don't want to be a mother. I want to be a mother to be reckoned with. I don't want to be working in my place even as a carer. I don't want to be just a carer. I want to put my care in my caring. Something extraordinary that you need to do something extra. Amen. Amen. What do you have? What do you have in your hands? What talent do you have? What idea do you have? 
and you still waiting, oh, this is not enough. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. And you'll be waiting forever. That will not be a question in Jesus' name. Amen. What do you have? And it's not about the size of what you have. It is about what do you do with it. It is about how do you use it. Why are you laughing? It's about how you use it. Okay? Now let's not forget Mary Magdalene. She had oil, alabaster oil. As little as it is. She could say, oh, I don't have money. Oh, I don't have the anointing to move close to Jesus Christ. But she had the oil. And she blessed the faith of Jesus for that. With that. What do you have? Moses had the rod. Now that word was anointed by God. Even, if, even with all his excuses. With that rod, he was able to deliver the Israelites. What do you have? Martha was a good cook. And she used her cooking skills to serve Jesus Christ and his ministry. What do you have? Amen. Amen. So as you're listening to me, are you thinking and you're asking yourself, what do I have that you can use to serve others, to bless others? Amen. Amen. Never be discouraged. Tell somebody, don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. May I tell you, you will be discouraged. While you are striving hard and you're putting all your best, people will tell you you're doing nothing. Mm. People will rubbish you. But you're going to tell yourself, I will not be discouraged. I, a Kenyan, will do I will not be discouraged. You're not keen into that. I will not be discouraged. Because through everything we do, there is a reward. Never hold back. Wherever you find yourself, every opportunity you have, give your all and all, give your best. Mm -hmm. Your reward may not come from where you are sowing, but you will definitely reap. Yes. If you are all going to be falling forward, be falling forward. If you are all going to be falling at all, there are situations in time where you're like, you know, I'm done. I want to leave this company. If you live in that company, make sure you're not getting worse, you're getting better. <laughs> so if you are falling forward, forward, <laughs> That's been determined with God. If you tell me, okay, maybe I'm an usher in this church, you say don't do usher anymore. Fine, I'm not going to do usher, but I'm going to get better in the house of God. It's all about being determined with God. If you tell me I cannot function as, a, as or maybe in school, you're trying to limit me, or oh, you're not good in this mask, or you're not good in... Okay, I'm going to find it another subject I'm going to be super better in. Mm -hmm. So we're not giving up. Say somebody, I'm not giving up. I am giving, giving up. up. And I'm not falling backward. I am falling backward. I'm falling forward. I'm moving forward. Challenges should make us bigger and better. Mm. Challenges should toughen us. Challenges should build us. Mm. It's easy to say, but it is possible. Mm. The most important thing is talking to yourself. I am not going to give up. I've been through some challenges for the past few months. People expect me to be like that. And I say, I know it's not happening. I'm going to stand tall. I'm not going to be found under. I'm not going to be found crying. I'm not going to be found mourning. I'm going to be found smiling. I said that to myself. So what are you telling yourself? Challenges will come. It's part of life. But are you determined to push your goal? Action. We've all said the grammar is beautiful. Action. Are we working on it? Put your goals into action. Take the first step. Buy that first book. Buy that first dress. Advertise it. Buy that first set of jewelry. Advertise it. That talent you're thinking about. Take the first step. Your first step might be to re-educate yourself. Mm -hmm. To do visibility study upon your business. To book that appointment. Take the first step. If you never take the step, then you're never going to do it. So you take a step at a time. Every drop makes an ocean. Make that contact. Make that contact. That person you'll be like, I'll call her, I'll talk to her. Do it today. In Jesus' name. Tell somebody, I'm going to do it today. I'm going to do it today. Don't you base your self-esteem and self-worth on what others think. Hmm. People can say whatever they like. Or fellow. <laughs> but what is God saying about me? And what do I want for myself? It's about you and God. It's not about any other person. People will say things. But what are you saying about yourself? And what is God saying to you? Paraventure, you need to face the mirror one-on-one and begin to prophesy to yourself. Look back. I am pretty. 
I am going to do well. I am going to excel. Speak positivity to yourself. And you'll see it coming to realization in Jesus' name. Do not forget Philippians 2.13. But it is God who is at work in you. Both to will and to work for his good pleasure. So in all the dreams, in all the thinking, in everything we do, even though you think you're doing by mistake, at the end of the day, it's for his glory. It's for his pleasure. And even when you're dreaming, you're fighting, you're pushing, you're doing everything, and it's not working, it is still for his pleasure. It may seem it's not working. God, it is still for his pleasure. So even when you're like, I'm struggling, I'm struggling, and you think, oh, God is not looking at me, he is looking. But he's building you up with that challenge. For that next level, if you do not pass one exam, you cannot move to the next class. Oh. So whatever that challenge is, whatever the disappointment is, whatever the, the, the discouragement is, you're going to tell yourself, I am going to pass this. I will pass. Because a bigger one is coming. Yes. So if you don't pass this, how are you going to move to the next one? Mm. I am, I'm not just talking, talking. I am talking from what I have been through. I have seen challenges when I was saying, my son is a mom, we are not moving to church anymore. Because when they start jamming, mm, yeah, let us go. But I said to myself, I'm not warning no more. I will sit, I will face the battle, and I will win. Amen. And that is what we should be telling ourselves. Amen. 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 I just pray with somebody tonight, or this morning, this afternoon. Oh, no, wow. That every spirit of fear that was stopping us uh -huh. oh, no, wow. by the power in the blood of Jesus, every such fear be neutralized in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 That Jehovah will give us the spirit of boldness Amen. and Amen. sound mind Amen. to fulfill purpose in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. I pray that the grace for your dreams uh -huh. to uh -huh. come to realization. Uh -huh. Will fall upon everyone in this house in Jesus. Amen. Amen. The grace to accept, the grace to, 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 to activate, actualize your dream will fall upon everyone Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 This is our